Tech Fusion. Today we are going to talk about software troubleshooting. Um, first step, restart your computer. I know it sounds silly, I know it sounds like the most basic thing in the world, but I get reports all the time from people who have the worst problem in the world and you know you ask them, did you restart your computer today? And no. So restart first, then panic. Okay, after a restart, um, one of the things Apple would love you to do is uh, go into disk utility and run repair permissions. You can do it. It's it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt your computer. Um, but to be all honest, it rarely fixes anything. But um, always a good thing to do. And that little shortcut I just did to get into uh, the utilities folder is Command Shift U, and that'll open up the utilities folder. And then you start typing disk and hit return. I like shortcuts. So then you just highlight that. And I just go straight to repair disk permission. Is the problem with a certain file? Um, a lot of times when a problem's reported to me, it's like, you know, InDesign is crashing when I print. Okay, so have you tested on another file? No. Open up a new file, throw a few boxes in there, a text box, whatever, print. If that file prints, then we know now it's not an InDesign problem as much as it is a file problem. And you troubleshoot them very differently. So it's good to try and narrow things down as much as you can. Um, but if it's, if it's bigger than a, a file problem, then you have possibly an application problem, possibly a problem in your user folder. So in order to, to differentiate, we're gonna have you switch into another user. Okay, so then you would switch into your user, test the application again. Um, if you need to bring over a file, you can easily transfer files between users through this shared folder. Allows access to all of your accounts on your machine. Um, if the problem doesn't persist in your new user, now we know that our problem is located in your user folder. So switch back into your user. I'd show you, but it, it cuts off the video, so I can't. Okay, so let's go into your user's library folder. This is where most of these app or most of these files that can be causing problems on a user level would be hiding. So keep in mind that on your computer there are at least three libraries. So we have the main library, we have the system library. This you want to stay away from. Don't go into the system, don't go into this library. Just avoid it. There's nothing in there for you. If there's nothing that you want to touch, um, you're just going to cause your machine and, and yourself headaches if you go in there and you don't really know what you're doing. Um, this library could be something that you go into, but not for a user problem. For a user problem, we go in here. So you'll see here's my account. It's the one with the active little house. And then here's the library I'm looking for. So I have a really good backup for my machine, so I'm not afraid to throw away files. But if you don't have a good backup, don't have a recent backup, or just want to be extra cautious, um, you can also you can you can zip your files before you throw them away. Um, so let's just say our problem is with um, extensive suitcase. Um, so first place I'd look, application support. Here you go. And keep in mind that even though the application's called Suitcase Fusion, I could be looking for Extensis, which is the maker of Suitcase Fusion. So, so when looking through these folders, make sure you keep both the manufacturer and the name of the application in mind when trying to purge. So instead of just throwing this away, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it, or if you don't have a right click mouse, um, you can control click, and then I'm gonna tell it to um, compress. If you're using an older version of the operating system, it could be also called Create Archive. Um, so now that that's there, let's throw away the other one. Uh, caches, sometimes the caches files go bad. So let's see, do we have anything in here? Here's Extensis. Gonna go ahead and right click. Throw away the original. Let's make sure we don't have anything suitcase. Anything below that looks good. Um, preferences. Keep in mind, most of your application is going to have one of these com.plist files. So you're going to want to go through, and I'm going to look for extensives first. Oh boy, here's a whole bunch of them. So now you can either create archives, zip these individually, or if you select them all and create an archive, um, you're going to see that it's up here, archive zip. So now I'm free to delete those files. I'm going to keep looking just to make sure down below here there's not another suitcase or extensives folder, and there's not. Um, the other place things can hide, and oh, this one has one. Extensives has a folder right here at the root of your library. So we'll go ahead and we will 
Okay. And once you do that, go ahead and empty your trash. It might not let you empty everything, as you can see. Oops. So in this case, we're going to have to restart our computer, and then once we restart, empty the trash can before launching the application to see if, if it fixes the problem you were having. Um, if after a restart, you launch the application, you do what you need to do, and it doesn't crash, you fixed it. If you're still having issues, um, and you've tried the new file, you've tried the new, the new user, um, usually if it's a user-related problem, one of those files is going to take care of it. Um, if not, I would turn to Google. Google a good description of your problem, um, and, and most likely you're going to find the answer. So, uh, extensis, uh, it helps if you spell it right. Crash at startup. So, yeah. Don't, don't just enter in extensis, extensis crash, suitcase crash, uh, Adobe crash, because you're going to get tons and tons of, of, of feedback and you don't want all that. So try and be as specific as possible to your, your problem. Um, if the problem is not user-based, meaning you've created your new user, you log into that new user, and it's still crashing, that's going to be systems-based. And that's when we move over into this library. And the problem with this library is when you start throwing stuff away out of here, you're most likely going to have to reinstall your application. And reinstalling the application isn't a bad idea. Just make sure if you're going to reinstall the application that you get rid of some of these support files. Um, I've seen it where, you know, we've reinstalled the Creative Suite, you know, four times and it's still having this problem. Well, you know, you left all the Adobe support files in there, so it doesn't actually replace those. It just goes through, looks for what it's got, and in installs what you're missing. So if you have all these files here, it's not going to touch them. So you'd want to go ahead and, and purge those before moving forward. Um, when it's an application problem, it's not the application itself, it's usually something in this application support. And if, uh, for the Brave, once again, that was Command Shift U to get to the Utilities folder, and now we're going to go into Console. Console is a scary application. It gives you so much feedback on your, on your machine. Stuff that, I mean, you can see, I mean, my machine doesn't have any problems, but looking at it, oh, error and bad this, and there's a break and it needs to be debugged, and I mean, just tons and pages of stuff that, that don't necessarily mean anything to you or to your machine's health. They're just errors being logged. So um, if you go into the into the console, just be aware of that. Um, I, I used to use it sometimes, like if I'm launching a program and it's crashing, so I, I had a I had a client that uh, iMovie was crashing at startup. So what you can do is you open up console, launch the application, and see what the error it's logging. Um, then you would take and, and copy that error, and then you can open something like text edit to paste it in there, and then copy out just the part of the error that seems to be, you know, pertinent to this issue. Like you want to be careful of anything with like too many numbers because that could be really specific and too specific to, to lock down what the issue is. So, you know, then I would Google like, you know, suitcase fusion unlocked from thread which did not lock it. See what it says. Matter of fact, why don't we just give it a whirl. So, let's see. Suitcase fusion. Put little quotes here around it so it keeps all those words together. You'll see some threads on that. So either this error is giving people some problems or people are putting that error in there even though it's really not related. I mean, that can happen too. Sometimes you'll see pages and pages of errors and they really have nothing to do with what, with what your problem is. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this video can help you get down to the bottom of your issues and um, make software troubleshooting a little less mysterious.